Bill. Thanks for making yourself available on such short notice. Have a seat. Scott Baldwin, I'm his attorney. How do you do? Samuels, FBI. Can I take okay, your man. coats? How do you do? No, 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 this will be fine. Well, before we move into other areas, I want to clear up something that you told the Maritime Commission. Now, on your last check, you noted that the rudder control seemed fine. But you noticed that the ship's valves were stuck in an open position. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you did not alert the captain or the first mate. No, not right away. You made no effort to repair it? Of course I made an effort to repair it. That was my job. That's why I didn't talk to the captain, because I was busy. <clears throat> and the explosion occurred almost uh, simultaneously with these events. Is that true? Yes. And that's when all hell broke loose aboard ship? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> you accepted the master machinist position on the freighter for two reasons. One, to make your way back to Port Charles, where you intend to live, and the other to pay for your passage. Right. Because you couldn't afford the trip. Yeah. But you could afford to send your son, Sly, here from Portland on a plane. Yes. And you could afford to leave all of your community property behind in Portland with your former wife. But that was our deal. And you could afford to do all of that because you knew you didn't need any money. What? Because you knew you would have a pile of cash waiting for you right here in Port Charles. What? Can you back up that line of questioning? Stay out of this. No, I'm his lawyer. <coughs> Answer the question, Bill. Come on, Bill. You got plenty of cash, don't you? Where? Where? We're going to bulldoze over you with a fine tooth comb. How would you like us to take this place apart piece by piece? You got a warrant? You got a phone? Now come on. We want some answers now. My client has answered each and every one of your questions. If you're not getting the answers you want, it's because he doesn't know them. We'll decide that, Mr. Baldwin. Shall we continue? Fine. So, you're not currently employed anywhere? Not currently. So you're living off your family? I hold up my end. Well, that's very big of you. Because, according to the Eckert Bakery deposit of receipts for last week, your family's in no position to help you hey, at all. Wait a minute, hold it. Where's the money coming from, Eckert? Where's the money that you got for sabotaging the ship? Where are you hiding it? <clears throat> you want to rephrase that, okay? Now, wait a minute. We're not in a court of law. No, you're in my home, and you have a warrant. Where are you hiding the money? Samuels, cool down. Wait a minute, just hold on. Can I, can I talk to you? So, where were we? Your family's going broke, and you, the prodigal son, return home, cash in hand, ready to bail them out if need be? You got all the answers. Let me ask you a question. If that's right, why am I wasting my time job hunting? Why aren't I sipping batitas in Rio? Excellent paper trail. And my family has been in business in this town for over 50 years, and now they're going under because their son was on a ship that sank. Now, do you think... Do you think that I would risk my family's business, that I would ruin it? Damn fine alibi. And my son, you think I brought my son here to put him through this? My heart bleeds for you, pal. Now let's get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. There isn't enough money in the world to make me hurt my family. What are you trying to prove? Who are you protecting?